Today it's Thursday, May 16, 2024. Jaguar F Type 2015. Yeah, it does have battery to show you inside. All right. Uh, 72,000 miles. All right. It's it's flooded, and the engine get hydro locked. This is not the first car. This is before I had one S class, but we didn't. We haven't painted that time. The garage was not ready, and we haven't painted the the, the floor with epoxy. It was not looks nice, so I didn't make public the video. What what I did that time? We open the coolers of the supercharger, the intercooler there up. We suck all the water out. We remove all the spark plugs. We suck everything from, out. We put a camera inside. One piston was not looks okay. I mean, it's. At very very top dead center, it's supposed to don't reach there. All right, we try to crank it. We try to to turn the damper pulley by hand first. After evacuating, after removing all the water from the cylinders and put some WD-40 inside, uh, we try to turn the crankshaft. It's not turning clockwise or counterclockwise. Most probably has been connected and then seized the seized the crankshaft. Okay. The Mercedes, because small displacement, it was, um, it, it get, it's safe, it's okay, it's fine. I fixed it and it's okay. Now on this one, I was thinking, I said, okay, the, the water level is supposed to be very high to get hydro locked, to get so much water inside. Till yesterday, yesterday, it was yesterday night, we put the car inside, we put on the lift, it's the first time that we put on the lift, all right? And the guys, they open the covers. The covers are over there, down. They open the covers and then they left. They went home. Because it was already late. I'm coming today morning to have a look on the car. To see if we have any crack on the block. There is no oil by any means down. But just in case. Or coolant. Still has a coolant inside. One second to lift it up. I'll go and show you what I mean. All right. What's my point? I'm gonna say something before I show you this. I'm gonna say something. If the water level, it was let us say till here, all right, it soon hydro lock the car. Except if you're going pedal to the metal through the water and then it's splashing on the front bumper, it's covering everything, all right. For a little bit of water to, to reach, let us say, up to here, on the same height where is the edge of the door, it soon hydro lock. The specific car, the specific engine, all right? I'm coming here, and I see the airbox here. I see the membrane, this membrane is to evacuate the water if it comes anything inside, moisture or whatever. It, this is like a check valve. It cannot enter inside, it can come out, this, this membrane, okay? I see the clamp here, nice, beautiful. And then, I haven't touched it, and I haven't let anybody touch. You're coming from this side, from the driver's side, can you see this? I said to the guys, don't put any fingerprint, don't touch anything here. All right? Don't clean anything. Because this is the reason why it gets hydro locked the engine. Whoever was, whoever opened the air filters before, whoever touched the car, he didn't put this inside, or he might put it slightly inside and then slide out. Because if you see the clamp, it's been torqued down. You see how it looks like here? And you see the dirt, this kind of dirt, from the water, that has also here. So that means it was never in place, this hose. And when the customer, when the owner, he drove through the water, it gets sucked water inside. Dang it, dang it. The best way when when a street is flooded, it's to don't pass through the street, you know? I mean, to me personally, if I had an expensive car, any car, any car, not expensive car, any car, if you had any car, you prefer to get one recovery, call it because, call the recovery and because it has higher uh, ground clearance, load your car on the recovery, pass it through the other side and then uncover it the, uh, and then put it down again on the street. So. Yeah, you're gonna spend, let us say, a couple of bucks, but you're not gonna lose your car. You're not gonna hydro lock the engine. That's my point. Now, in this case, it was not mistake, owner's mistake. Most probably he saw a little bit of water somewhere. He tried to pass because I don't believe that the water was 
cover the, the half rim. That's what I believe. The common sense, right? And because of this stupid thing, it gets sucked. Water inside. How lovely. How lovely. I mean, okay, I get used to it to fix things from another guy that they're not fixing properly and they're not doing it right. But dang it, dang it. For no reason. For no reason. Waste of money, waste of time. Because somebody didn't put properly inside the horse. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? Can, can we get a fingerprint from here, you know, to identify who is the, the genius that he didn't put the, the pipe back in place? Stupid things, stupid, fucking stupid things. That's it. When we make out, the, when the guys remove for me the engine out, they will gonna remove the engine, we're gonna put the engine on the engine stand. I'm gonna open the engine to see the condition inside. We have already sprayed WD-40 in the cylinders to so don't come rusty, at least to, to protect it for the piston rings and the cylinders. And if we get away, the best case scenario is if we get away with a couple of connecting rods and pistons. To have, let us say, one or two connecting rods and one or two pistons, seals, gaskets, close back again and call the day. Uh, 72,000 miles, it's something like 120,000 kilometers, I guess, something like that. Uh, 62,000 miles, 100,000 kilometers, 72 to another 10,000, eh, less than 120,000 kilometers. Bone stock, the car, okay, well maintained, not high mileage, good tires. Brakes and all these things, yeah, it doesn't matter now. The brakes, the priority is the engine. That's the priority. Dang it, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. I was thinking that the customer, he drove through, through the water fast. And that's, that's why it happened, as an example. But nope. Nope. Any water, I mean, even if you go through 10 centimeters of water, you're going to get sucked inside. Great. Fucking great. Let's see. Let's see how we're gonna end up. Next part, when we're gonna put the engine on the engine stand and we're gonna start opening it. Thank you. Over and out. I came here and I'm watching the first part of the Jaguar. And it looks okay, it looks decent. I didn't make the mistake, I didn't put a number plate on the video. The floor I don't I'm not showing the floor that has industrial concrete down actually and some painted that's that's the thing i might put also public if it's okay with the customer i might put public also the first part we we'll can see it was flooded also the supercharger had a water inside we we'll gonna see now that's the end